everybody. Welcome to Adult Craft Night. Tonight we're going to be practicing some simple brush lettering. If you picked up your kit at the library, you should have everything you need. You should have two plain Crayola markers. These are Crayola Super Tips, and you should also have an Artline brush marker. You've also got some practice sheets that we've put together here and some practice sheets um, that were provided by the Postman's Knock, so thank you to them. Right, let's get started. I'm going to go over everything that you have in your kit. You should have an Artline brush marker as well as two Crayola Super Tip markers. You should have some blank paper, some worksheets from the Postman's Knock, and four of these worksheets, one of them has uppercase letters, one has lowercase, and then there are two with some different sentences and phrases on them. There are all types of brush markers and their tips have varying degrees of flexibility and different sizes. So I'm gonna show some different ones that we use here at the library just to illustrate that. This looks like a regular marker, but it is a brush marker. So you can see as you go up, you can do a very thin line with it, but as you come down, you press harder and you get a thicker line. This is another one that we use. And as you go down, you get that. This is one of my favorites. So you can get a really thick line with that one. We're using this one, which is about, it has about a medium tip. So as I come up, I can achieve a pretty thin line and then on the way down when I press, you can get a pretty thick line. Your other markers are not flexible. So coming up and down, it's gonna look the same. What we're gonna do with that is angle our hand a little bit so that when we go up, it's nice and thin, but then when we come down on the letter, you get that thicker line. The first thing we're gonna do is practice some basic strokes just to get you used to using a brush marker. So like I said earlier, when you're going up, you want very little pressure on the brush marker and then as you come down you want to put more pressure on it. So each letter is a series of upstrokes and downstrokes. So if I had the letter A going up there would be very little pressure but then coming down I would press down on the marker and then coming back up I would let up again and then going down, press down, and then let up as I go up there. So what we're practicing is that change between each stroke in the letters. So it's not like writing a letter in cursive where it's all one continuous uh, motion. You have to think of it more as a series of up-down strokes. So you can get used to it by just going back and forth. Now horizontal strokes don't require much pressure, so you can practice making horizontal lines and make sure that they are nice and thin. We're also going to practice doing some hills. If you have trouble With just the brush marker alone, it's helpful to have a pencil handy and you can draw in what you're practicing. So 
So as you go up, very little pressure, and then when you come down, you want to press down on the brush marker. So that's what that would look like. It's a little bit strange to press down on the marker because I think we're taught to be kind of careful with the tips of markers and not press down on them so you don't ruin them, but with these it's okay. So this is something that you would see in letters M, N, um, your H's, so this is an important stroke to master. We're also going to practice with some coils, so I'm just going to draw these in. So you want very little pressure as you're going up, and then as you're coming down, you'll press down harder, and then you're going to have to let up on the pressure as you go up this way. And it doesn't all have to be one stroke. You can pick up your brush pen and then go back to it. So not, press, no, not very much pressure there. You're going to press down as you come down and then let up. But there are some coils. If you want to practice some more strokes, you have these worksheets from the Postman's Knock in your kit. And if you go to her website, you can watch videos of her working with them. They're under her copyright, so I'm not going to practice with them on the video. But definitely check out her website. Um, she has tons of practice sheets. So we're going to be using these that I created. Um, now, it's easier for me to do the letters straight up and down instead of at an angle. But if you want a more traditional looking, uh, more like cursive lettering, you can go to Pinterest um, or Google and find a bunch of different websites with different practice sheets. So one thing I want you to remember, which I mentioned earlier, is that the letters are a series of strokes. So it's not like regular handwriting um, where you do the letter in one motion. You're going to be breaking it up into upstrokes and downstrokes uh, and horizontal strokes. So I started with my A, but the marker was too light, so I switched to get a darker one. As you're going up, you want very little pressure. And then as you come down, you're going to want to press down on your marker. And then let up again. And then remember that your horizontal stroke doesn't need very much pressure. There should be enough space here for you to try it again on your own. So up. And then as you come down, more pressure, and then a horizontal stroke. Same with your B. This one's a little harder because you have two loops. So as you're going horizontally, you don't need very much pressure, but then you need to press down and then come up again here, and then press down and come up again here. So it's much easier with these letters to go slowly. So down, and then your loop. Come up. C is easier. This one is just one stroke. So press down, and then come up. And then your D, you're going to break it up into this stroke here. More pressure. 
and then very little pressure there. Press down, and then come up. Your E is similar to this one in that you're going to have to press down hard when you come down this way and this way, but then let up for these loops. So this one is a little bit difficult. So very little pressure, and then press down, and press down again, and then let up. Your E, and your F is going to be one stroke all the way through, and then a horizontal. So very little pressure, and then press down, and then very little pressure. Press down. Now G, I'm going to break up into this loop, and then this stroke. So press down, and then down again, so there's your loop, so the A is going to be three different strokes, so it's going to be this one, this one, and then the horizontal here. Press down, and horizontal. And there's your H. I is an easy one. There's your eye. So I'm going to do the J in one motion, but you can stop in the middle of it if you need to. So this would be a place you could stop. J. So for your K, you're going to do this part here and then this. So it'll be broken up into two strokes. Let up as you're doing this loop and then press down again. For your L, press down and then come up. For the M, I'm going to break it up into three parts. So I'm going to do and then same thing here and then stop and one more and there's one two three and for the N it's the same thing except it's just two strokes And for the O, you're going to press down and then come up here. So press down. And 
And for the P, I'm going to break it up into two parts. And let up for the loop. Q is similar to the O, except we've got this little tail here. So press down, and then let up. For the R, we're going to break it up into this here, and then this, so it's going to be two different strokes. Down, very little pressure here, and then come down again, and then let up. Very similar to the K. Press down, and press down again. The S is tricky because you have to press down here and here, so it feels very unnatural as you're doing it. So press down, and then let up, and then press down again. Press down, press down. T is easy. It's just a downstroke and then a horizontal. The U I'm going to break up into two parts. There's one, two. The V I'm going to do in two parts as well. And the W I'm going to break up into two different strokes. I'm going to stop in the middle. One. And this will be two different strokes as well. I'm going to come down. Now, the X is a little weird. This is a down stroke. So you would think that you would also make it thick, uh, but then it will just look a little bit odd. So not very much pressure that second stroke. The Y I'm going to break up, stop there. And the Z is easy. Okay, so there's the full alphabet. I'm going to work on the lowercase now. So for the A, I do this loop on its own, and then come back and do that stroke. For this B, I also break up into two different strokes. down, press down, these are pretty easy, just going to press down and then let up, D very similar to the A, do your loop and then a down stroke. So depending on how you do your E, if you end up liking it more of a sort of cursive looking E, you'll start down here at the bottom. For this one, I'm going to start with a horizontal stroke. So 
So the F will be a downstroke, and then I'll stop and do this little part here. G, similar to the A and the D, start with your loop. H is similar to the B, I break it up into two different strokes. I, I go up and then come down with more pressure. And the J is similar, except it's got this tail. So up and down. The K is a little bit tricky because we're coming down here, so we need to press down hard, but we don't have very much space to do it. So with this one, you have to be careful. So I'm gonna start with my downstroke there. And then I'm actually going to break this up a little bit. Press down and stop. And then finish it. There. Press down, stop. L is a simple loop. And the M I'm going to break up into three strokes. One, two, three. And is similar, except it's two different strokes. is just one big loop and you can add a little tail if you want. I'm going to break this up into two strokes. And the Q I'm going to break up into a loop, and then I'll do the tail. So for the R, I'm going to stop at that point, and then come down. So very little pressure and then press down. And this S is similar to the uppercase S. So it's a little bit more difficult because it's smaller, but press down, let up, and press down again. And T is just gonna be a loop and then a horizontal stroke. The U will break up into two strokes. I'll stop there. And I'll do the same with the V. I'm going to stop in the middle. Stop. And this one I'm going to break up in the middle as well. Stop there. And 
for your X, you're going to press it from here, and then come down. For the Y, and stop at this point. And for the Z, I'm going to stop here and then finish this loop. And there's our lowercase letters. We're going to work on these sheets now which uh, have words on them so we're going to practice connecting letters. So it's very similar to just doing the letters alone. We just have to break it up into a series of strokes. So for my S, I'm actually going to stop there to give myself a little break before I do the O. And I usually stop between each letter, unless it makes sense to continue. So with the O here, I'll continue. But for the most part, I do break it up by letter. Stop there. So there, I continued this stroke here because it was just easier. So the B. So for this one, I am going to continue that stroke into the K. And the S is a little weird, so I'm going to connect it here at the bottom. Stop. So you can make your S's differently if you want to. Uh, if you're used to the cursive S, you can still do that. But this one's a little less formal. Um, with this style of lettering, I like this one better. So for the L, just a loop. Now the I, I'm going to continue into the T. And here, and possibly all the way to the E because it's just a series of loops, um, but you can stop in between. So press down, press down. And again, we we'll finish the E. So I'm going to stop here for my T. And for this one, I'm going to go down and then up and down. I'll stop here and finish. So now I'm going to do this again down here. Okay. And there's my S. I'm going to stop.
and stop. And for this one, I'm going to continue. So the beginning of my N. And for the B, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to continue here with my K. And for my S, I just want to make sure that these two are connected. For this one, this is the one where I just continued for three letters in a row, so I'll slow down when I do that part. So there's my L, and I'm going to do the I, T, T, and L. Press down, press down. And press down again. I'm doing my E. And for my T, whoops, I'm going to stop here. For my I, I'm going to continue it into the M. sheet. The J I'm going to do all is one stroke. Stop there. And for my O, I'm going to continue it into the N, and then stop. My M will be split up into three strokes. And I'll stop here. And the O, I'm going to continue into the R. Um, because this is such a thin stroke, if I stop in the middle of it uh, and then have to come back, it'll be a little bit more noticeable. So I'll stop there. Now the C, I'm going to continue into the H. Finish the H. Stop here. Now the P is going to continue into the T. And press down. The E will continue into the R. Stop here.
and her O is going to continue into the R. The C will connect to the H. and the P will connect to the T. And the E will connect to the top of the R. And we've got one more word here. So I'll stop there. And you can continue the I into the B. And the B will connect to the R there. The A is going to continue here. Do that again. Part of our B. This will connect to our R. And finish. So now we're going to work with our Crayola Super Tip Markers. So for this we're going to do a type of faux brush lettering first uh, and then we'll practice some brush letters. So an easy way to do brush lettering with any type of item, any pen, pencil marker, is just to make your letter And then at any point that you did a downstroke, make that thicker. And we'll do a lowercase a. So our downstroke is here. And here. If you were doing a letter like the one that we made earlier, your downstroke is here. And for the lowercase, downstroke is here. So make this thicker. So we'll try another letter. So our downstroke is here as well as that area on the loops or the hills. And for the lowercase, it'll be here and here. So this is a little bit more like the B that we had earlier. So for these, our downstrokes here. Here. 
this one, it's going to be here. And here. There's another way to do faux brush lettering with these markers uh, that will require you to change the angle in which you hold the brush. So you'll notice with these, they have a pointed tip and then there's a flat area here. So it requires you to move the brush in a way that when you're doing an upstroke, you're only using the tip. And then when you come down, you angle your hand so that this thicker area is touching the paper. So if I were to do an A, I would come up using the tip. And then when I come down, I need to angle my hand so that the thicker part of the tip is touching the paper. And then come up again so that it's just the pointed edge touching the paper. So if I were to do a lowercase a, when I come down, I need to angle my hand so that the marker, the thicker part is touching the paper. And then for this, I would need to start out with this flat part touching the paper and then come up. So it's not as clean as using a brush letter, but these markers are very cheap. You can get a giant package of them with 50 different colors for less than $15, I think. So if you're just wanting to try out brush lettering and not spend a ton of money, these are a good pick, but it is a little bit more difficult to get the hang of using them. Do a couple more letters for the C. Now I'm going slowly for the video because I want you to see what I'm doing. But when I do that, my hand does get a little bit shaky. So it's definitely easier. Um, you don't want to go fast, but you also don't want to go too slow because otherwise your letters will start to look um, not as clean, so for D, thanks for joining us for Adult Craft Night. If you registered, I'll be sending out a document with links to more tutorials so you can keep practicing your brush lettering. And please remember to check out our summer reading website for information on programs in June and July, as well as our summer reading challenge. Bye.